Hey guys, Phil Baumhardt here. So what I've got here today is the Cold Steel Viking Axe made by the uh, American Tomahawk Company. And so like everything from this American Tomahawk Company, the head is really loose. You can see the fit on that is just kind of horrendous. So basically this is a project axe. And so what I'm going to do today is start working on fixing this up. The head is basically just jammed on there. Uh, enough to start peeling up that wood and then it's really just secured by the hex nut so let's get that off so I got the head off but uh, the the set screw there um, they screwed in too deeply it went through all of the threads on the axe here and, and uh, I could not simply unscrew or screw it out so basically I just had to uh, hammer that off of there and, and kind of see how that turned out. And now I'm just removing the uh, varnish that's on there. That alone is actually on there really good. I mean, that's how a that's how a tomahawk should be. So I've got this pattern inscribed on my axe handle and this is a pattern that I've found on several Viking Age artifacts. I don't know the significance of it but it, what I like about it is that it is an authentic Viking Age pattern and I think this will also give it pretty good traction on the handle and so I'm going to carve that in there with my round file just like in my tomahawk video. Okay, so I've finished inscribing the handle there, and now I'm going to stain it with my birch oil that I made in the uh, tomahawk video. So that birch oil dried on there very quickly, and it left it this wood very raw and rough, like much rougher than how I left it. So I don't know quite what's going on there. Uh, my birch oil was very watery. Um, so what I did is I took my bottle and I slowly heated it, kind of simmered it on the stove, and we're going to see what, uh, what that looks like. There we go. That's, that's the birch oil I remember, much thicker. Wow. had to heat that over the stove a little bit. Yeah, this is definitely, I would consider this more of a birch tar than a, than a birch oil. Okay, so here's what the uh, Viking axe looks like. Only took about five or six days for the handle to dry there. So here's what the uh, head looks like after I clean it up a bit with some, some of my uh, sandstone and some emery cloth just to get that finish off of there. It's not completely gone but I think it looks a little bit better already. Uh, one last thing I'm going to try and do is just uh, give it a vinegar patina by letting it soak with vinegar for a few days. 
So the stuff I've got here is the uh, what I used for the spears. So it's turned this kind of blood red color, which is cool, but we'll see how it works. Here's what the axe head looks like after I soaked it in vinegar for a few hours. Definitely has a darker patina on there. So now I'm just going to put an edge on this thing because uh, I think this axe wants to cut stuff. So here's what the finished axe looks like. Now let's go cut some stuff. Okay, so one other thing I'm going to try here on the patina for the axe is uh, I've got some green walnuts. Um, they're a little bit rotten actually right now, but I want to see if I can force the patina on the axe blade here with the uh, with the green walnut hulls. You can already see that uh, it's drying on there and darkening it up. All right, so here's what the finished uh, cold steel Viking axe looks like after my modifications. I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. I think it looks pretty sweet. Um, it's a fun axe to use for sure. Uh, I consider it more of like a brush axe because of how light it is. It's good for like de-living small trees, that kind of a thing. Not really good as a heavy use, uh, you know, splitting axe or chopping axe, anything like that, but uh, it is what it is, I suppose. At some point, I'll probably doll it up and use it as a movie prop because, um, I mean, it looks like a, looks like a Viking axe. Thanks for watching, and until next time, be more Viking.